Okay, so here's the setup for you. Uh, it's going to be 12 days behind bars. I'm going to take you with me, hopefully show you as much behind the scenes stuff as I possibly can. It's going to be a little bit more raw, but we're about ready to hit the road. And today's going to be interesting because we're just going to go until we're tired. Let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready for the comeback? I told you it was gonna be raw. This is what I'm using for a tripod. All right, let's go. Are you ready for the comeback? Yeah. Are you ready for the? Huh? Are you ready for the comeback? You know we don't want that. Let me see the hands up on the way front back. All right, so now that we're on the road, I'm just kind of gonna go through some of the things that that I'm thinking about right now. Just like every road trip, I'm always thinking about what did I forget? And so far I haven't come up with anything. But this trip's gonna be a little bit unique because I mean, I kind of have a, a, a direction of travel I wanna go, but I do not have a specific destination each day. I'm just pretty much gonna go until I'm tired and then find a place to stay. And that's what's gonna happen. Uh, on this trip, if you guys have been following along on the channel, you know that I've swapped out the ape hangers and I went with the T-bar setup, which gave you a lot more road feel. And I'm curious to see how it's going to be on a long distance trip. This will be the longest trip on these bars. Um, I'm expecting total round trip around 6,000 miles. So I should have a pretty good idea. Uh, but right now, our first stop is going to be in Barstow. Well, we're, we're probably going to grab some lunch and then we'll continue pushing, you know, north, northeast. So when I came up with my direction of travel and, and obviously coming up with uh, Sioux Falls being the destination where I'm going to actually chase down the convoy, the Great American Convoy, uh, I knew that there was one thing for sure. No offense to the Blacktops, Mr. and Mrs. Blacktop, I'm sorry, but I did not want to go through Nebraska. I'm going to avoid Nebraska at all costs. So with that being said, we're just, uh, we went from the four lane down to the three lane, and I can't wait to get to those two lane highways. Once you get out of California, the ride just becomes amazing. So I will catch up with you guys in just a second. Okay, so made it to Barstow. I went 176.8 miles in one go, uh, nonstop. I gotta give all credit to the Saddleman seat. Uh, all the stuff that I use, all my equipment is down linked in the descriptions down below, but feeling really good. Uh, the one thing that I always try to do is knock out as many miles as I can on that first stint. When your legs are fresh, your butt is fresh, but I'm gonna try to grab some food while I'm here I just topped off fuel and then I'm gonna get back on the road. Next stop will be either Baker, where the world's tallest thermometer's at, or I might bypass that and go straight to state line. So let's uh, just grab some food real quick. Okay, so we are going to Milwaukee, which means I'm gonna want some cheese curds. So while I'm out here on the road, I'm trying to be cognizant of what I eat. So we're gonna do a little subway right now and then we're gonna jam right back on the road. Okay, I had a cookie too, don't judge me. So of course, we're gonna be going through Vegas in like the hottest part of the day. It's 95 degrees and we're still heading into the desert going towards Vegas and state line. So let's hurry up and jam on it. All right, y'all, I just thought I would give you a little bit of an update. Um, it is pretty warm, I am not going to lie. 
it makes me think I almost thought about getting a oil cooler system for the bike before we took off for this trip uh, but I didn't do it kind of have a little bit of regret because I know my bike's running pretty warm but we're about an hour from state line right now maybe less depending on this traffic that we got going on but it's not too bad besides it being extremely hot I've just been jamming out to tunes and one of the things that I like to do is edit in my head so I kind of have an idea of what the footage is that I've got thus far of course I won't know exactly how it turns out till I dump it um, right before the edit and go through them all but if it's all how I imagine it will be then I can start developing that edit flow in my head and the tempo and, and things like that but if you guys are new to the channel I just want to give you an update what we're doing we're actually traveling across country to join the Great American Convoy uh, that is going into Milwaukee for the 120th so the plan here is just going to be taking you with me for at least 12 days on the road behind bars just having fun guiding you through my my process but so hopefully you guys all enjoy it you guys can let me know in the comments down below uh, this is obviously day one we have no idea what the future holds but I'm excited to push on Seriously, my ass is on fire. That was a very hot ride. Uh, we're gonna let it cool down and, uh, okay, we're gonna put $20 into a machine. That's it. Let's see what happens. So I was trying to think inside how awesome it would be if I won some kind of progressive jackpot, how much cooler this story would be. Um, I did not. So um, I don't know how much uh, $20 gets them, but I paid for, a light bulb for about three minutes so all right we're going to fuel up right now we're going to continue on and push towards st george chances are i'm just going to wave at las vegas i'm not going to stop so very few times in in my life this might actually be the first i am not going to stop in las vegas you guys have no idea how hard this is for me to just keep powering through las vegas I mean, it's changed through the years, but you know, this is just my happy place. It's a fun place to be, at least for a couple days, and then you just can't wait to get back home. All right, so, you know, as we're about three quarters of the way done with the day, I just wanted to kind of visit on the, the aspect of taking a motorcycle ride across the country. And you might be sitting on your couch right now or, or watching this on your phone and thinking that maybe you should do it. And the answer is absolutely, you should do it. I mean, we all got something going on in our lives and this is probably the best way that I've found to, to decompress and to really sort through some of my own personal you know, struggles, things that are happening in my life, whether it be everything from finance to uh, to fatherhood to uh, you know being a husband all of it I get sorted out on the road you know you just kind of get lost in this in the realm of being out here and when it's only you you know you get a chance to take it at your own pace you can go faster you can go slower you know there's so many advantages of just being out here that I, I just highly encourage you don't I mean obviously you don't have to take a cross-country trip but try to plan like a 400 mile trip where it's just you you know choose 400 miles like today we're just going until we're tired wherever we end up is where we end up and I just think that it's you know it's important you know I mentioned before it's good for your soul but you get a chance to to sort everything else out that you got going on in your life. And I promise you that if you were to take a, a long solo trip, whatever you're struggling with, by the time you get back, 
you're gonna have that figured out and then so so yeah taking time away from your family you know that that is probably you know if I had to put like a silver lining the worst of it but you come back to your family a much better person so take that for what it's worth you know just some things that I've been I've been thinking about on this trip just it never gets dull it never gets boring I absolutely love it out here on the road and I just I don't know I mean look at look at these mountain ranges right here it's just unbelievable so I just want to touch base on that so I figured I'd take a, a minute here to tell you about my setup you know I, I switched over to the Rick Rack system in the beginning of 2023 for that's my travel system setup now because of how much weight I have in the bag with with my gear and my laptop um, having that stress on top of a tour pack uh, can cause problems so I the one good thing about the Rick Rack system is that you can actually just get a different bracket and you know it, it doesn't take too long you just you know put on the other bracket which then connects to the Harley Davidson uh, luggage rack now the one I guess downside to this is that you have to get the Harley Davidson lug luggage rack it doesn't work with any of the aftermarket brands because they're a little bit shorter so just know that going in as I mentioned everything is down in the description down below if you guys want to take a look at it or do some more research but that's what I'm running with on this trip is the Rick Rack system I put everything that I need and that the wife needs inside of this one Rick Rack bag which is pretty doggone impressive if you ask me so that uh, that's holding up pretty good pretty impressed all right, so let's see if we can go ahead and crush another 100 miles and then we'll call it a night because I'm gonna have some editing to do. Okay, so one of my absolute favorite parts of taking the 15 is coming up right now. And I featured some of it in the Every Mile of Memory documentary. And this is basically going through the, the small section of Arizona into Utah from Nevada, if that makes sense. But this, we're heading right through the, these rocks right here, this, this canyon area of these mountains. And we're actually gonna cut up through the mountains and it's absolutely awesome. I'm stoked on the time of day right now, it's 7 p.m. and it should really be good lighting. Almost to the point where I should stop and take some photography. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like, but check this out. smokes look at this tell me that's not a postcard let's go wow super awesome so honestly I think we are probably gonna try to call it here at st. George I'm gonna try to look for a hotel room and start working on this edit I think that uh, you know, that should be like a 500 and some mile day. Not bad for day one. Tomorrow should be a longer day if we uh, we get up early. My favorite time to ride is, is right when the sun is about to crest and you're already on the road. It's just perfect, so. I think I found a hotel. I always try to look for one with free breakfast so that when I wake up in the morning, I can just grab something to eat and go. I'm just booking it right now. It's like a mile away and it's got free Wi Fi. So let's get over there. And we're here. 
think. I will say this. That's a 500 mile day, and that's probably the cleanest I've ever seen this front end on a 500 mile day. That's crazy. It was just hot and dry. Okay, y'all, I'm in the hotel. I gotta get uh, some food in my system, and then I gotta get back here, and I gotta start editing so you guys can see this. But I hope you guys enjoyed day one of 12 Days Behind Bars. Go ahead and uh, leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, you guys, you ride safe, you be safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.